Hey guys, Michael M. Jeff here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new 2010 Emperor Palpatine shuttle. The set number is 8096 with about 592 pieces, ages 9 through 14. So, yeah. So, to start with the minifigures, well, before I say anything or go on any, onto anything, um, this is a really fantastic set. It's really awesome, really no, no complaints with it, not a lot of complaints. And nothing, if there are any complaints, it's not major. So this is a really nice set, and it retails for about 60 U.S. dollars at your local Toys R Us. So that's where I got mine, so, yeah. So to start, we have, um, Darth Sidious. Now, this guy, you don't see a lot at all, like anywhere. Let me see if it'll, yeah. You don't really see him anywhere in any sets except the Death Star. And I'm not sure if there was anything else that had him, but I know it was the Death Star. Actually, it was only the Death Star. And this set. So, yeah. He's really cool, but what I noticed was from the Death Star one to this one, I'm not sure if the Death Star one had it, but I know the o older Palpatine had it, was um, light gray hands. Focus. Now, there are black hands on this, and I'm pretty sure he does not wear gloves. But, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's not too bad. Like I said, just minor con. Um, same face as in the Death Star, I think. Yep. Ah, stop unfocusing. And there's the torso. Normal lightsaber. Black cape. And, yeah. Um, so he's really cool. And... Then we have burnt up Anakin. Um, yeah, here he is. Believe it or not, he actually includes a red lightsaber. He doesn't really use in a red lightsaber when he's like burnt up. Shook the camera there, but um, yeah. But it's not really bad. It's cool to have a lightsaber with him. Um, now, as you can see, it's a darker color than um, I would say Luke, like that kind of color. It's darker because, well, he was totally burnt up by lava and magma, so I can see exactly why they chose that color, and it's actually a really nice detail. So, and, um, this head right here is really detailed and really nice. I like it a lot. He's my favorite figure in the set. And a nice detailed torso. So that's Anakin. Really great job. Lego did a great job on him. Oh, and before I go on, he has a Darth Vader helmet that you can attach on just like that. And then we got this pilot. Now, I think what Lego was trying to do, I was told by a friend of mine, that he that they were actually trying to um, make the pilot, if you guys might remember from the old V-Wing, they were trying to make redo him, but with their brand new helmet. Um, this guy is basically the same thing as, um, sorry about that, same thing as Captain Jag, um, he's not mostly the same, like, he's got, as you can see, he's got a white head when Jag has f a flesh head, by the way, he's from the Arc 170, and there's different markings on Jag, if you're wondering why I'm comparing Captain Jag, it's because I couldn't find the normal pilot. But, yeah. And this guy has black striping right there, and Republic symbols. EP3 Republic symbols. Um, and then we have this medic droid, which has actually been used in throughout all of Star Wars. He was used in the Clone Wars, EP3, and I'm sure other movies and other things. Um, you can definitely use this for a clone base. It's really nice. Definitely not. He doesn't top off this. The, he's not the figure that tops off the set. I think he is, but um, not a big fan of why they use. I don't know why they use this arm, but whatever. Um, total new skull body and head. The head, believe it or not, is actually molded into the body, so he can't move his head. But not too big of a problem. I mean, he's only a droid. So, that's the figures. Sorry I took four minutes on those. I just really want you guys to get a detailed look at those. Um, now this set 
you guys may be already aware of the transformation feature. Well, that is unfortunately, that takes place on, um, I think, Coruscant, actually. Um, it does not take place in the shuttle. That's completely inaccurate, but it doesn't matter. Lego needed to get some playing features in there for little kids that may buy this set. So, yeah. Now, the cockpit is really sturdy. I can actually pick the whole thing up by the cockpit. That's how sturdy it is. It's really cool. Now, there's only two stickers in the whole entire set, and that's these these little things right here on the cockpit itself, on the glass. So, that's really nice. And this folds right up, and then you can take your pilot, and there's a little green seat right in there, and you can simply uh, put him right in there. And inside there, you can see, finally, Lego... That's not a sticker right there. That's printing, finally. I was happy that wasn't a sticker because... Um, in the gunship, I think they used the same design. And they made it a sticker. But, yeah. Um, and with the wings, it's pretty nice. Wings fold down. Just like so. And I can actually pick the whole setup by the top wing thing. And, um... Yeah, the wingspan is pretty big, actually. This set is actually smaller than I expected, but it's a great size. It's really nice. It doesn't really affect my opinion of the set. Um, yeah. And then you got, you can see you got the guns right there. Either side. So, and there's white markings all over it. That's pretty accurate, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then turn it around. You can see pretty nice engine detailing. And, um, you can see a little turret, little gun right here. That swivels. Um, so, yeah. Now, if we want to get the roof off, what you do is you unlock these right here. This comes off just like that. And then on either side. And then, um, in the back, there's this one little lock right here, which just folds up. Off comes up. Alright, so on the inside, it's really nice. Um, to start, if you guys have, I would say, if you guys have an EP3 clone, you can actually put him right in here where there's actually little seats, if you can see those. You can sit them right there. But this guy does not come with a set, so I don't, so don't think he does. Um, you can actually take the lightsabers that, that are included with this set, and put them right in there, just like that. And Palpatine, you, I think you can sit him in there. I haven't tried yet. And it, unlike the attack shuttle, there's actually room in here where you can put extra figures. You can put like about four figures in this, all in the inside, and that's really nice. So you got the medic droid in here. So yeah. And now if we're gonna do the transformation, stop turning camera. The tripod just. Totally screwed up. Ah, sorry about that. Really sorry about that. Um, okay, now for the transformation. What you do is you fold this little bed thing down. Take Darth Vader. Slash Anakin. Lay him down right there. And then take the Darth Vader helmet and squish it right in there. Fold him back down. And now slowly and carefully, just like, put it on. Damn it. <laughs> it's really hard, tough to get in. It's not the best design, but it works sometimes if you try hard enough. Yeah, it's really hard. Um, epic fail. But whatever. It does work if you try enough times. If you try hard enough, it does work. So. Um, now if you want to put the roof back on... This basically just goes back in the same way. This folds back in. And then we go over here. And these fold in. Uh, go in. One second. Sorry about that, guys. Uh. Okay, so there we got it. Right there. It's fine now. Um, 
So this is a really nice set. I would give it about an 8 out of 10 because the transformation feature doesn't work too well. But I mean, you just got to get used to it. And um, um, the minifigures, Emperor Palpatine's black, no light gray hands. But that's really not really a reason to give a point down. So I would actually give it a 9 out of 10. So this is a really nice set. I recommend it. Get it at your local Toys R Us. I'll see you guys later. Bye.